Hey folks, what is up? This is one big bugger, and I am coming at you with, uh, of course, League of Legends. Um, in this game, you're gonna find me in a slightly different position than normal. I don't like playing mid at all, which is kind of difficult because if you're gonna play an AP, you're n almost always going to be uh, in the mid lane. Uh, and if you're gonna play an AD, the chances are you're going to be in the mid lane. And I'm really not good at AP or AD, uh, especially by myself. But in I found myself in a rare and unique opportunity to play an AP character uh, while being in a dual lane uh, going bottom and as you can see here I am playing Mal Sahar. I've just recently picked him up as he went on sale not too long ago and I actually really like Mal Sahar. Uh, he can farm very very effectively when he gets up a little bit. He's a um, little bit of a monohog uh, but then again most APs uh, tend to be. I'm just gonna lock the view for now while I talk. Most APs tend to be um, at the start. Excellent now, um, I'm gonna be in a lane with a Gold Fox 420, who maybe many of you have seen in a couple of my other videos. Uh, he's a PC Potato. Uh, Wait, if you want to join PC Potatoes, you're looking for people to play with, by the way, there will be in a link in the description below to the PC Potato website where you can sign up and register, and you can find currently over 200 active. Uh, users who play League of Legends as well as other games that you may be able to hook up with and start playing rather than having to solo queue. We run various uh, tournaments and uh, competitions. As a matter of fact, we pretty soon have coming up a uh, 5v5 tournament. And even though I can kind of guess the outcome of what that's going to be, uh, <laughs> um, it, we still do fun things like this. Um, so if you're looking for some place to come and join, to chat, to find people to uh, hang out with, uh, to play League of Legends and whatnot, then come over to PC Potatoes and join us. And uh, you will pretty much almost never play alone again unless you choose to play alone. But other than that, I'm going to be dual queued in the lane here with Gold Fox, who, who plays Singe quite a bit and is really good with him. And I think that's mainly because he continuously plays Singe. We will have, uh, as you can see on the mini-map, Swain will be in the mid lane, Nocturne will be in our jungle, and Sewani will be up in the t uh, solo top. On the opposing lane, uh, we will have uh, Morgana and Lux, Sion, Zinjiao, and um, Vayne. And you see they don't have a jungler, which is going to make the top lane very difficult for Sewani because these are all very difficult characters. Matter of fact, Scion and Morgana and even Vayne to some degree are often um, banned in the other um, in uh, draft mode. We're just playing blind pick right here, and I don't get off to the best start in the world. Uh, that being that um, I don't get my harass with my farm very well and this this can be a tough lane in and of itself a Scion's not somebody you want to mess with in the game at all early or late as well as Xin Zhao can be uh, quite a problem but uh, up top Sewani definitely having a difficult lane as I got the site locked uh, with Vayne and um, with Vayne and uh, Lux up in that lane and yeah that's not a trap I would spring on those two just to be honest it's not something I would have tried at least not by myself and uh, I don't know how well our Nocturne jungle is uh, we had a Nocturne jungle earlier and I'm not sure if this is the one or not where he just um, um I'm trying to think here. He, he, he just did terrible. He didn't gank lanes properly. Uh, he, he, he was sitting in lanes where people uh, were pushed. He rarely went and helped top, which was the lane that needed the help. And I think this may be the game. He just, like, constantly jungled. And it was quite frustrating, especially from somebody who's learned to jungle very well. You see Sewani there calling for help. And, you know, it's a little early in the game for it, but... You could definitely see with Vayne and Lux in a single lane against someone like Sewani, there's a lane you're going to need to gank constantly, and unfortunately I don't see that happening. I'm going to check the soundboard here a sec. 
I like take the music down a little bit further. You know, with Malsahar and um, uh, Singe down the lower lane, we can pretty much hold our own. But, you know, definitely needing help up top. And, you know, I flashed away. That was a panic flash. That wasn't a very smart flash there. I probably would have been fine, especially with Singed right there. So, um, But I, I'm not used to being squishy. And as uh, Malsahar, I am very, very squishy. And trying to go in after uh, Scion, but he gets his shield up just in time. Oh, that quick, that pretty much saved Scion there, I'm pretty sure. That and I was out of position. A Nocturne going to sustain the lane, you can see right now. Um, which there's really not much you can do. Now this is not a good Nocturne start. Nocturne does not start with cloth armor and potions. Nocturne starts with a um, Vampiric Scepter if you want to do a good Nocturne jungle. Uh, not every jungler starts with a cloth and five. Like with Warwick, you can you can start with a um, Longsword. With like guys like Olaf and uh, Nocturne, you can start with a Vampiric Scepter. Uh, Maokai and uh, Maokai and a couple others you can start with the regen pendant. You know, there's just plenty of things that you can do to start. Going after Singed there, you can see they're going to dive in as Singed uh, manages to get the first blood there and end up will killing um, Singed in return will be Scion, but I managed to pick off Scion with the turret's help as Singed flipped him in there. Uh, so, to be honest, that should be a double kill for Singe, as he did pretty much all the work. And I just did an auto attack before the turret hit him and got credit for the kill. Um, I guess maybe in this one you can kind of call me Chaos Sahar, I guess. I do get quite a few uh, kill steals, I think, but... I do relatively well in this game. Is I, I, I've actually learned Malsahar pretty well in terms of the basics. Um, how to farm with him. How to grab things, you know, you know how, how to get the minion waves and clear them out relatively quickly. And I know starting out with a um, mana gem may not be the best idea, but it quickly turns into a catalyst uh, protector. Now, you can argue going with a catalyst protector versus going with a goddess tier, because Malsahar definitely needs a lot of mana. But the reality of the matter is, is that I need some tankiness right now, especially in this lane with Zinjao and Scion, a lot of heavy damage going out. I need that uh, tankiness. I need to be able to take some hits and getting a stun there and getting a little bit of melee damage on him. And that's it. Continue to chase uh, Singed into the tower. Please, please do that. We can just turn around and flip you. There we go, spamming off my spells. Not quite powerful enough yet, but you can see I'm, I'm picking off minions fairly well. Not attacking the minion, minion I should where my dot is on, but still doing a fair amount of work with it. Well, the lane I wouldn't definitely not want to be in right now is against Morgana. As you see, forced to flash out there. I'm pretty sure Morgana used her ulti, but not good enough as... Uh, you can see, uh, not someone you want to be up against level 6 with Swain. He tur just turns into his big beastie mode. And uh, there we go, calling for help again as Seiwani's half health and Lux and Vayne just having the run of the lane. What more can you expect with, with those two? And Scion, uh, not Scion, but our... You know, let's see where he is. Oh, he's finally got razors. At least he's got something. And going after the wrong minions, really, and not getting my dot down properly. So messing up farming this minion wave. With Malsahar, you want to go after the caster minions first. Basically, throw my dot as, you know, getting tower dive there. What, what do you expect? This tower is probably not going to last very long. Um, basically, I throw my dot, I open my pool up under them, and then I use my crossbeam to cut. Um of the void. There we go, that. Uh, to help farm them out. And then you can see your dot jumps around to different minions. 
helping to kill them and getting you a fair amount of farm. And I got to admit, Singed was a little frustrated Goldfox there because I was taking most of the farm. And I was trying to tell Goldfox, you know, build some GP5. Build a heart of gold. Build um, a philosopher's stone. You can all turn those into useful things for Singed and that'll help your gold situation. But as an AP, especially one that may carry in the game, I need as much farm as I can come up with. Um, to help because we don't know how well Swain's going to do. Despite getting a kill in the mid against Morgana, it's still Morgana. And you still have Lux and you still have Vayne up in the top lane who are just dominating and getting all the farm they want. So, again, not something that's smart. And there we go. Going after... There we go. Managing to pick up Lux. Going after Vayne. And trying to get her. And she tumbles in. Going in and... <laughs> Whoops! That was actually nice turning around, hitting him with the claw and finishing her out, but unfortunately getting uh, taken out by the tower. And I will say this is not the Nocturne that we had problems with. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that Nocturne, uh, Gold Fox was trying to uh, solo top and he just wasn't helping at all. As a matter of fact, it was like one time he was sitting here in this bush to gank this lane while the enemy champion that he was trying to gank was up here in his tower. Well, in the meantime, Gold Fox was sitting here on this tower with his enemies right here having a free run of it. So, yeah. But this Nocturne is not that Nocturne. This is actually a good Nocturne that's actually out there doing some ganks, getting some kills. And even though he died, he, uh, there were two kills in the lane for him versus one. A 2v1 trade is still pretty good. And messing up there is on that farm, but still managing to pick up the, the three back minions. I really do like Malsahar. I would like to start actually learning to mid and using him and using a few other APs that I'm good with. You know, his ulti is definitely something to be feared. And I actually waste my ulti uh, at one point. I might have already done that uh, on Scion thinking it's going to do more damage. But in, in the end, it ended up not. And there we go. Ganking Morgana in the mid, keeping her down and that's definitely something you want. You don't want Morgana to get fed and built up. And so taking care of that little problem right there. An ally has been slain. And unfortunately... Ooh. Yeah, not calling me. I really didn't expect Scion to trade lanes there. And... But we weren't the only one, as uh, you can see, that Lux also came into the lane. And she manages to grab Scion and... Not Scion, um... Nocturne, but she actually missed the laser as uh, Nocturne juked out of the way of it. And a teleport in on the minions. That is probably Morgana teleporting in. Yep, there she is. And they're going to get some hits on the tower. But still, not too much to worry about. We are 7 kills to 4 kills. And Scion coming back to hold the lane again. I'm pretty sure that was just uh, a little mess up there. As they continued to harass Nocturne, but not a whole lot. And Swain coming back into the lane, and he'll be able to keep them back uh, fairly well, I believe. I believe I'm going to teleport back, and then I decide, no, actually, I don't have enough. I'm pretty close to getting the Catalyst, not the Catalyst, the... Uh, rod of ages i really don't need that much more to go and the one thing i'm concerned about is they're going to note that i don't have mana and even though singe does they're going to push out because singe is something to be worried about especially in the later game but there's not much he could do to protect me if they decided to jump all over me in this game and despite having a fair amount of health right now thanks to having to catalyst protector um it's not enough. And sure enough, here they come going right after me. But my flash is up and I manage to flash out. And they do exhaust me. And yeah, there's something you really want to do. You want to continue to chase uh, Singe into the tower. Very, very good. And I managed to uh, get myself back up. And there's that ulti that I'm just truly wasting on Scion. Not something I should have done. And now I've got Xin Zhao on my tail. 
while Singe goes up to the tower after Scion, and I'm like, no, 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 you're gonna kill me, but he actually backs off as I and I manage to uh, pull away there. And Nocturne diving in on Morgana in the mid lane. She uses her ulti. There's an ignite. And there we go with a stun. Will it be enough to kill her? No, nope. she's got a little too much health. And Scion backs off. Not Scion. Why do I keep calling him Scion? But Nocturne backs off the chase there. I wonder if they managed to kill Swain because there's another kill up on the board. It's possible and I wasn't paying attention. It'll be in the video. But there we go. I've picked up the Rod of Ages now. A uh, very nice item to have early on to give you some tankiness, give you some extra mana, and a fair amount of ability power. Now I'm going to attempt to fast forward this just a little bit, I think. Uh, just to get things back into the lane. And fortunately it works, it doesn't crash. As we're just keeping them pushed into the tower right now, Sewani signaling that uh, Vayne is probably on her way down. Unfortunately, they do get the turret, but uh, there we go. Into the fight goes uh, Nocturne going after um, Lux. Probably the one you want to pick on, but getting trapped into the turret now. There's not there's somewhere you don't want to be, but Lux not able to capitalize with a laser or anything. And forcing the two of them to back out. As Sewani came down to lend support, but not needed. We did lose the first tower, but still not a major deal. Probably should have left our lane a while ago rather than just standing here and farming. I could have left uh, Gold Fox just fine and got up into assist, but I didn't, and uh, probably not the best decision on my part. And yeah, they walked off the pool, but. My abilities are strong enough now that I don't actually even really need it. And I should probably be casting it on the uh, melee minions, but yeah, I'm still learning Malsahar for the most part. Not the highest action game in, the, in, in this. Not exactly sure what Nocturne's pulling there, uh, but there you go. You know, they're telling us to care down bottom, but not overtly worried right now. I uh, still got plenty of uh, mana for my ulti, and Singed has uh, plenty of mana to fight. And taking the top turret in return up in this lane now, so evening up the turret situation as both Swain and Nocturne head up the top. He's trying to set up a double gank up in here as they go after Sewani and getting some tower damage, and surprise! And there is a teleport in that will be uh, Morgana trying to assist and using her ulti. And it'll only get um, Swain, but will it be enough? And no, he continues. He picks up Vayne and he gets nailed by the prison there. But not enough to kill him. Uh, not even close at half health. Signaling a fallback right now as uh, doing a good job getting Swain, um, getting Vayne up there rather. A really nice coordinated gank at that point. And it's continuing to farm the bottom right now. Just more farming and more going. Looks like they're going to try and double up and take the turret down. I don't know if it has much health left. Uh, nope. It didn't. And they, they do actually take that out. But eh, not horrible yet. We got a 9 to 5 kill lead. Uh, we're two turrets to one. That's not too bad. Swain is turning into quite a bully uh, in the mid lane right now. as He's gotten a few kills off there. Uh, keeping their Morgana down in kills, keeping their Vayne down in kills. Um, as we take a look right now, 
Vayne only has one kill, has died twice. Xin Zhao has died once with no kills. Sion has gotten one kill and died. Lux has actually gotten two kills. And Morgana's only gotten one kill. And there they go, picking up Lux. Nice dive in by uh, Nocturnus. <laughs> Sinj and I just continued the whole hum down in, <laughs> in the bottom lane right now. <laughs> not bothering to push a turret. Not bothering to move in on Scion. And uh, fundamentally flawed at this point already that Scion's going an AD Scion, not an AP. That's not to say an AP... An AD, AP D Scion isn't bad. I've seen some AD Scions really rock in a game, but not as much as I've seen AP Scions, just to be honest. As I take off back out of the lane and I pick up Sorcerer Shoes, and I actually picked up another Sapphire Crystal, and at one point, on my way back to helping uh, with the uh, turret again, as uh, Swain picking up another kill in the mid, getting a killing spree. Uh, going on and Scion coming out of the lane and they're going after Sewani at this point and the laser will take him and flashing out of the ulti there and Singe coming in teleporting up to help as they turn on Scion and force him away and Nocturne coming in with the double buff gets locked down by Lux but flipped back by Singe trying to keep her from running and focusing on her and taking her out Getting a rampage going on right now for Swain. And there we go, folks. I actually moved up in the lane as well, apparently. I didn't see myself move in. Um, but doing a nice job coming up to assist. Uh, taking up a nice six kill lead. I decided to go and get the farm over here by the turret. And Nocturne decided to follow me. And Sewani's coming up as well. And, you know, I'm not being mean, but this kind of really aggravated me. It's obvious that I was going for the farm over here. I don't have many kills right now. I only have one kill, one assist. Uh, I've only got the Rod of Ages and Boots. But when you're, when you're solo queued or even dual queued, this is what happened. People are more concerned about themselves. Somebody who would like to get beef up is... Um, Malsahar, his uh, abilities scale quite hard uh, off of um, AP. As you see right now, I have 60 plus 14 ability power plus uh, my runes and whatnot. So, I don't know, we'll say about 80 ability power. And that means that my I'm already scaling 179 bonus damage on my ulti. And I don't know if I finished mentioning it, but I, I did say I'm going to look at that Mana Crystal and go, why the hell did I pick that the hell up? Because it's not what I wanted to go for. As I continue to farm in the mid right now and... Um, I'm going to farm head-to-head -head against um, Morgana, and this is not something I truly like doing. Um, mainly for the part that I don't have a tower at my back right now. But picking up Xin Zhao on the top lane right now is continuing to push as uh, the laning phase is over and people are shifting around. And right now, Swain is down bottom and gets taken out by Scion um, as well as Morgana, the two of them down there as I continue to work in the mid lane. And I'm guessing Swain almost got the, a kill judge, judging by what he's saying there. So, heading down to the bottom lane now. Uh, Singed forced to back off against Morgana. And she's going to try and take a free run at the turret. But not going to allow that to happen. Is diving in. And I wanted to use my ulti on her. But her spell shield actually prevented that. Uh, not paying attention or I would have waited. But she's pretty much done. And... Yeah, there we go. Chaos Sahar finally takes back uh, some of that farm he lost. Uh, some of that farm I lost, I should say, up top. By getting uh, the kill just by opening up the rift at the bottom. I don't know how useful this Voidling is, you know. After casting four spells, it gets attack speed and damage and whatnot. And then eventually dies. And I, I, I don't know. 
know how useful the Voidling is, but moving in for the kills in the mid lane and not being able to produce, in, uh, produce anything. And I eventually turned my uh, Mana Crystal into a Tear of the Goddess because I had messed up, messed up earlier in purchasing it. I got my Sorcerer Shoes, I've got a Blasting Wand, and I am working myself uh, towards an Archangel Staff. I wanted to get a Rabidons first, uh, but because I had already purchased the Mana Crystal, I decided to cave in. And considering I have to spam my spells anyways, getting a Archangels is not a bad idea right now. And picking up the blue buff so I can continue to spam my abilities. And basically sitting back looking for an opportunity to move in. And Lux Laser hits most of us. Does a fair amount of damage but not too bad as we continue to press forward. There's a nice lockdown on Scion going for the kill now. And the uh, double suppress, more or less, on uh, Xin Zhao. And I managed to get the kill with my ulti as Swain also uses Crow there, uh, which would have been a slow, but managed enough for me to move in and get the kill. And there we go, going after uh, Lux. And I managed to get the kill despite all the damage going out, just by opening the pool under her feet. And finally getting a few kills under my belt now, getting some extra gold. And taking the turret as well. And there, the vote for surrender not happening uh, at this moment. Time to break out, break uh, break off, and move out now. Seeing that the top turret is being pushed by minions, moving up that way to try and uh, finish off the top turret. Not much health left on that turret anyway, so it's easily taken out. And I guess coming up to try and engage us in Scion going down fast, getting the kill there is uh, Singed, and Singed getting another kill there on Xin Zhao. Xin Zhao gets Sewani, but that's still two kills. And Morgana moving in, using her... Uh, Hourglass to you get her ulti and unfortunately will pick up um, uh, Nocturne and also managing to get me and unfortunately Singed will not get away and there we go giving away a few too many kills and Morgana was beyond lucky at that point uh, to say the least as um, my ulti was just not enough to kill her and I don't know why Swain went in 2v1 why you would go in 2v1 versus Lux and Vayne it's not something I, I understand understand why you would do that but doing it anyways and not panning out for him kind of obvious not gonna pan out but um I had Morgana and I thought I would be able to kill her and after my ulti ended I wasn't able to move in and uh, finish her off and getting locked down by Lux there and she was able to get away unfortunately. But one of the great things about Malsahar is not only can his ulti do a, a, an insane amount of damage, it's on a fairly short cooldown for what it can do. Feeling that uh, Scion's going to try and push that bottom turret, start heading down that way. And Sin's just going to teleport down. I really didn't see a need to use a teleport to get down there. You see, by the time he's down there starting to take care of the minions, I'm already floating in. And Sewani comes down from the uh, river. So, yeah, not... I don't think a reason to use teleports. Now you can use teleport jump up to the top lane uh, to stop that minion wave, but deciding to take out Dragon now is considering most of us are here. And very quickly Dragon going down. 
and seeing Scion and Morgana over in the lane, as well as Vayne ducking and dodging in and out. She's going to go after uh, Nocturne, but most of the team here, now we kind of begin a back and forth uh, little play game here in the two separate lanes. And there's the throw in from uh, just ultis going out everywhere as I focus myself on Morgana and trying to take her out and not going in our favor with one there's two there's three and it's time to back the fuck out and there's four and things starting to turn uh, poorly on us right now and we'll fast forward this part just a little bit as things did not go well as we just spread out way too much damage all over the place And that turret following to minions, and this turret's going to go down as well. As you saw me in the chat, maybe saying, you know, we need a target. We need to focus on a single person and take them down. There was just uh, too much damage being spread out all over the place. Uh, and not enough focusing damage. moving off to try and pick up more farm and push a lane. I've already finished off the Archangel Staff, so I'm not doing too bad. 274 AP right now. Pretty decent with uh, four kills and one death. My ulti at this point is doing uh, over 700 magic damage minus whatever resistance is as I go back to pick up the blue buff. And there we go. Nice and easy pickup. Looks like they were going to go for Baron, or at least they think that we are. Nice flash, Zion. Nice flash. Unfortunately, catching Sewani out of position and just telling him to let it go at that point. Don't bother trying to fight. Uh, we need to fight under a tower. There's more of them than there are of us, especially they caught Sewani right now. Not wanting to peek around that corner, fearing that they may be there, but also that they could be going for Baron. But no, there's one, there's two. For some reason, they didn't take the opportunity, Morgana over there, to try and get Baron despite having Sewani down. And knowing that Singed is here and three of us are here, so they know where all four of us were. Possibly a bad decision on their part uh, to not go for Baron. You can see my inventory now. I've picked up the needlessly large rod, working towards that Rabadon's. My ulti is uh, now doing a good 900, about a thousand damage right now, minus whatever magic resist. And again, setting up, uh, peeking into Baron just to make sure it's there. Uh, pretty sure they actually have it warded, as we saw them all grouped up uh, there, and you know maybe coming to look for us. There's the um, clairvoyance. Try and see us. I don't know if that's close enough to reveal us or not, but we sit and wait anyways. I know Nocturne's far enough away. And then they go setting up, just waiting, waiting for the right opportunity. I show myself trying to bait them in. They don't know if we're all there or not. And there they go, going in and going right after there we go getting Xin Zhao with my ulti and this time focusing targets there goes Vayne there goes uh, Scion and continuing to push the advantage there goes Lux and working to get Morgana now she jukes upwards out of the bush continuing to try and get away but it's just not going to happen and picking up the ace with Nocturne and putting a nice team fight into our favor with a nice surprise dive in from uh, everybody. And now with the ace, we know they're all dead. It's time to go for that.
I'm just worried about some of us dying because we're low health after the fight, but no, we managed to pick up Baron fairly easily. Although with no opposition, it would be really interesting if it was fairly difficult to get him. There we go, picking up another blasting wand there. Second part needed for the Rabadons, working my way towards uh, finishing it off. And Interesting there, I was able to almost completely melt out Xin Zhao uh, and his health. Uh, he's only 1 and 5 right now. Their vein is 4, 4, and 4. Uh, the only dangers on their team right now is Lux and a little bit in the Scion, um, as he's got the Vampiric Scepter and and whatnot. Interestingly enough, a Lich Bane on Lux, it's not something I would expect, but um, here's something that's really reliant on doing well and not dying very often, and that is the uh, Soul Stealer. And to be honest, with seven deaths, you've died a lot, so the Soul Stealer's not helping. It, it, it's just really not helping at all. The Morgana is looking a little dangerous with a Joya's Hourglass and catching Nocturne out of position up top here with Swain. But uh, going for a Rabadon, that will make Morgana fairly dangerous with her ulti. But you can see our Nocturne right now uh, with the Blood Razor, BF Sword, Pickaxe, and he's got a War Mogs. And our Swain with a Rod of Ages and uh, Ryla's. And uh, right now, Singe looking fairly tanky as well. So our team doing very well at 24 to 18. I've got six kills. I've only got the one death. I've got five assists. Not sure. I think we were going to try and go up in here to pick him up. And we see right there, there's Scion. So setting up another trap right now waiting to try and draw them in. They don't know how many of us are here or who's here. See Wani going into the bait and here they come and I see Lux and there we go. And the uh, combination there and just health melting all over the place and three of them going down fairly easily there. Just not wanting that Lux laser in a team fight so immediately targeting her and getting them suppressed and then with um, Swain jumping in on her well, she as well. She just went down very, very quickly. And then taking out Scion and Xin Zhao, you're basically removing a, a fair amount of their damage. And this tower going to go down very easily now. You have, uh, you know, you have. Uh, I think going in for the ulti there and using the hourglass, but is that really going to be something to worry about? No. Nope. Singe is in there just diving in like a boss and picking up two more kills in Morgana and Vayne. That's more or less an ace on the team. <laughs> and there's that Lux laser and diving in on Sewani will pick her up as pretty much overstaying their welcome, but still managing to pick up Xin Zhao and using his ulti while he's not even close uh, not the best of moves and Lux missing her uh, lockdown there Swain continuing to run he does get slowed a little bit there's his ability again as he turns around to fight as he's just he knows he's just not going to get away and he gets finished off but Lux is very hurt right now she doesn't have a lot of health and Scion right now, um, without his ulti, is going to come face to face. Uh, he, he's looking for Lux, who's not there, and decides to fight it up with Scion. And without his ulti, Scion is just really not going to stand a chance against a much more fed uh, Nocturne. You know, you take a look at our Nocturne score right now, 9, 4, and 10, uh, 7, 6, and 11, 7, 4, 9. And like I said, the only one that's uh, positive on their side right now is uh, their Lux. But with 8 deaths, this Soul Stealer is just taking up space. This, you might as well just have uh, a Tome here, one of these uh, amplifying Tomes. Uh, you, you'd be getting about the same benefit. 
And there we go, finishing up the Rabadon's Death Cap. Now with on almost 600 ability power. Uh, yeah, this ulti is becoming very dangerous, and so are my other abilities 320 plus 476, um, 300 plus 476, and negative energy. The zone damages nearby enemies, enemies for 8% plus 6 more percent of their maximum health each second. Um, so you're looking at what? 14% of their health per second that they stand on that zone. Now that's not something that's something I'm not actually doing and catching Xin Zhao out of position up in here and he goes down really quickly as he just has no health to speak of right now. And while they're all working up in the top lane, not needing my assistance and their vein caught out of position and she goes down and stuns and lux lasers going off but they're not something to worry about anymore or something very little to worry about is picking up another kill as I'm working to continue to farm and push this lane here going for the laser nope missed Continuing just to push this lane now. Unfortunately, I, I won't be able to finish it as I know that somebody's going to show up to stop. And in just a moment, I believe you'll see Morgana come up here. And this is not having confidence in myself. Because um, to be honest, with what I have right now, all of this versus Morgana, especially that she used her ulti, I could easily dominate her. As a matter of fact, if I use, if I had open up a pool under her and suppressed her right away she would probably have just melted and died but I don't have confidence in myself in playing the AP uh, champion so I didn't have confidence enough to go and try and stand against her with the rest of the team over here. Well, Scion caught out of position as well as Zinjao and Zinjao just melts and continuing to try and get Scion at this point but not going to pursue the chase, instead choosing to go for the tower. There you go, picking off the towers. They're continuing to do a fallback defense and just getting run over at this point. I'm signaling Baron, 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 Baron. You know, don't want them to get Baron uh, because it's back right now. And worried that they're going to come after us, but even if they do at this point, we're in such a position uh, of strength for all the kills that we've gotten uh, really doubtful they'd be able to do much now why am I not in the Baron fight so much so I should be well Baron's falling fast enough number one and number two I'm keeping myself out in case they do come maybe I can jump in and grab one up in a quick suppress and melt the health down but uh, no, no opposition comes, and we pick up Baron quite easily at this point. And Nocturne also going after the dragon. And now I have truly become dangerous. I was dangerous to begin with with all that ability, but I've picked up the Void Staff. 40% magic penetration on top of the magic pe penetration I have already in runes and masteries. So now a lot of that magic resist is not going to count. And you're looking at nearly 1,500 points of damage in the ulti alone. And I caught Xin Zhao and I was trying to get the team to come over here and uh, check. Because I knew he was killing the wolves. But uh, by the time they do come, and I should have realized this, uh, he's going to be long gone. And yep, wolves are gone. So I knew he was there, but uh, not getting reaction in time. I should have just gone over there and gotten it myself. I could probably have just melted them with my ulti. I was hoping they would actually, with only three of them here, and the full team here, that they would come out and try and engage. And I wanted to be heroic and try and flash over the wall and suppress someone, but... Now what happens is they continue to stay defensive as Lux goes to hold Singed off from the top tower.
And there's the flash in going after Swain. And, oh, there's nothing I can do. And they do manage to pick him up. But Sewani comes in. And the ulti will go off on her. And following in, here comes Sion. And there's the ulti on Xin Zhao. And you just watch that health disappear. And Sewani picks up the kill. And just shortly here, you're going to see, you know, damage dished out back and forth. With my team coming out on the harder end of it, but still with Singed and Sewani at health, uh, being able to hold them off and flipping out um, Morgana there, but not able to get the kill as a summoner heal going off. And Singed wanting to charge in and get someone not happening. Minions picking up the turret over in this area, looking maybe to get the exposed inhibitor. But continuing it look at that right there with a cut across and even with the spill spell shield managed to pick up Morgana and Nocturne picking up Lux over in here going after the inhibitor at this point and very shortly I believe you're going to see yep there goes down another inhibitor and there we go there's the surrender Five votes to none as we manage to bowl them over. And the Nexus goes down. I did fairly well going 8-1 eight, and 8. I got to get a little more aggressive. Uh, as I ha Yeah, I actually had 750 AP by the end of this fight. So doing really, really well as an AP. But uh, not as well as I could or should. So long way to go before I'm actually effective in that uh, area. But uh, still a fun game overall, or I guess not fun for the other team, but my team doing uh, very well. Uh, Nocturne, Swain, um, Singed, Sewani all doing very well. Uh, I think only one or no, two team fights went against us, but for the most part we kind of ran roughshaw over them. And uh, fairly good considering that they had Vayne and Lux and Morgana and Scion all on one team so not bad not bad but other than that folks this is one big bug and I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you if you're not playing uh, League of Legends follow the link in the description down below and sign up and give the game a try uh, you probably won't be disappointed and um, again PC potatoes if you're looking for people to play with Beyond that, I think that's everything I have to do right now. So this is one big bug signing out, and I'll see you next time.